What is up guys, it is Zaximillion here again, and tonight I will be broadcasting you the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys from Arlington, Texas. As you see here, I have the 49ers and the Cowboys in a game that looks like it's going to be evenly matched. Now, I know what at first what you guys are thinking. You're seeing, oh wow, you know, Zaximillion's actually talking while broadcasting his games because in the past videos I had not been broadcasting my videos which I probably should have in the first place as you see Jake Locker gets a 22 yard touchdown run rather surprised wow so Niners get off to a good start as uh, you saw in the other videos Dallas trying to go 4-0 and I don't know what the 49ers record is I, I really haven't paid much attention to them but uh but yeah, I mean that story on Jake Locker was sad how he retired so early. But uh, my reasoning for broadcasting, you can thank uh, one of my other YouTube buddies. His name is the uh, Shrothenator. I actually grew up in high school with him. Give him a shout out. And uh, when you uh, also click subscribe to his YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to mine. And uh, I mean... Schrothenator obviously is a big fan of wrestling as you see Lacey, yeah, he gets a touchdown. Uh Schrothenator, he's really big into wrestling. But yeah, as I mentioned said before, don't forget to give him a subscribe and also subscribe to me. And that would be much appreciated. Now I will be broadcasting from the future on because uh I mean the Schrothenator actually gave me good advice that you know, if uh, you you know you talk while you stream, you get more vi uh, views, and uh, you know he's in the, he got more involved in the YouTube thing than I did, and he obviously has been in this very long. I just started, and uh, I mean I'm getting subscribers day by day, but I know it won't be enough to make any money. But as you see here, Alan Robinson. Rookie from Jacksonville gets a touchdown. I need my wide receivers to come up big here. Oh, Lacey got a big run. Touchdown, yeah, there we go. All right, Hedy Lacey, that's why I picked him up. He's a good running back from the Packers. I've always liked Eddie Lacey. Liked him when he was in Alabama. And shockingly, he's a running back from Alabama that isn't a bust. You look at Trent Richardson, drafted by Cleveland, went to Indianapolis, and then now he's, I think he's with the Raiders, but Richardson's just a bust. But uh, not this guy, not Lacey, boy, he's good. Yeah, Carlos Hyde, I kind of like Carlos Hyde, former product of, out of the Ohio State University. Allen Robinson, wow, he's got another touchdown. He's got two touchdowns on three receptions. Jake Locker's off to a good start. Man, I can't believe Phil Dawson's still in this league. If it wasn't for Adam Venateri, Dawson would be one of the, the oldest players. In fact, I think he is the oldest player in the league if it wasn't for Venateri. Jolon Dunbar. Good linebacker out of St. Louis. Oh, almost had Kelvin Benjamin. Damn it. Shockingly, he didn't get a big, big return out of that. Oh, good defense, Justin Houston. Andre Johnson made him punt and kicker. I made him a punt return. Boy, it's, boy, that's a good pickup for the Colts. Got a 12-year veteran, 13-year veteran from Indianapolis. Or from Houston, excuse me. Indianapolis picked up Andre Johnson. Oh, shit. Big turnover. Oh, damn. That might come back to bite me. In the red zone, and you turn it over, that's not a good play. Torrey Smith, boy, that's another good pickup the 49ers got this offseason. Of course, they lost Mike Iupati, the um, 
offensive tackle, but they also picked up a defensive lineman, Darnell Dockett. But, uh, damn, Torrey Smith's already got a big game. And he's already got a hundred yards in the first court in the first half. Excuse me. Shit. I wonder who's playing defense on him. Screw that game. Wait, Astros won again. My God, Houston. The playoffs for the Rockets. They're off to a one-one tie with the Clippers, but the Astros have been really surprising. Uh, back to football here. Here's Peyton Manning to Olsen, and Olsen's got room. And he's got a 59-yard touchdown. Sweet. All righty. It's a one-possession game. Shit. Good return. I'd be okay if they give up a field goal. I will not be okay if they give up a touchdown before the half. But then again, in my mindset, I should think, as Carlos Hyde gets a first down... I should think my defense should not give up any points before half. Brandon Cooks, that kid's from uh, the New Orleans Saints. Boy, a lot of people believe that Brandon Cooks could be a good wide receiver for them. Good wide receiver in uh, Brandon Cooks from the New Orleans Saints. A lot of people believe he could be a very efficient wide receiver now of course he had I think he had a, like a broken thumb injury or a broken bone in his hand and he was done for the year last year so he had a short rookie year come on I need my receivers to come through damn it Benjamin only get, made it fourth and three damn this Allen Robinson kid man he He's a good player out of, I believe, Penn State. Yes, Barry Church with a pick. Hell yeah. I love Barry Church. He's one of my favorite strong safeties in the league, along with his teammate, J.J. Wilcox. Ooh, that's good news from a Giants fan. Good news. Damn it, Walden Smith, you bastard. Oh, shit. That's a costly turnover on downs. I probably should have. Now... I know it's confusing that the it says game replay, but I have yet to seen this, so I don't know how the outcome ends. But then yet again, when I've streamed, I've never lost. So, but we'll wait and see. I mean, Forty ers are making me work for my money. Joe Lon Dunbar, man, this guy's been killing my offense all day. Good run stops, and then Alden Smith made a huge tackle. Oh, shit, he's got room. Damn it. Come on, defense. All right, there you go, Cushing. Who the fuck is this Sante Cleveland? I've never even heard of this guy. Seriously, who the hell is this guy? It's kind of pissing me off that a no-name player is shredding my defense. Let's see here. Let's hope I can rally here. I'm down by 20. I have to score at least some points. I don't even care if it's like 4th and 1 down at like the, the, the within the 10. I got to get points any way I can get them. Because I'm kind of starting to run out on time here. Lacey. Alright, alright, alright. Good run. Good run, Lacey. I don't know. I think maybe Lacey might get 100. Oh, no catch. No gain on the catch. So I have to, I have to go with a field goal. Interesting. I would have took the field goal anyway. I wouldn't have chanced it. I need a three and out. Yes, I got it. Whew. All right, boys, come on. We need a touchdown here. Yes, Johnson with a big catch. Ooh, Benny. I I couldn't read that name, but that was a that was an interesting name. Benet Correa. 
Benny Wekre or whatever. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get to see it. <laughs> but as oh, I lost Kamal Ishmael. Damn it, he's out for the game. Kamal Ishmael. He's a corner from the Falcons. Picked him up too on the waiver wire. Fumble. Oh, but they recovered. Shit. Damn it, that's huge. Um. As I mentioned about Brian Cushing, boy, I will say this much. Had they kept Connor Barwin, boy, Houston may have, would have had the best defense in the league. All right, Charles Tillman. Good play. Oh, wow, he missed the field goal. Dawson missed it from 46, though. That's not that deep. I'm shocked. I swear, if I rally to win this game, I'll be impressed. Oh, DeMarco Murray, former teammate. Of Dallas. I still have him on my team. He's my second best running back. Although he's a betraying ass bitch. And he went to that shithole we call Philadelphia. That's what we call Philadelphia. Shitdelphia in Dallas. Yes. Good catch. Kelvin Benjamin. Oh. Greg Olson can sniff the end zone. He was so close. But Lacey just punched it in. For his third TD of the game. Lacey, overall, has the best rating. I mean, I think he's he's almost an all-pro, but I know he is definitely a platinum player. Can I get a turnover? Fuck yes! Nick Hayden. It's sad we only kept Nick Hayden for one year. It's the same situation when we signed Greg Hardy for only one season. But I hope in one year we can make it all worth the matters. Ooh, Jolon Dunbar has an injury. Ooh, but he's coming back, though. That's big for the 49ers. They need that. Big touchdown there for Kelvin Benjamin. Now I need my defense to hold. I need either a, a turnover or a three and out. I really need a turnover. I would prefer a turnover, but if I get a three and out, either way it would be nice. Yes, three and out. Fuck yeah. I'll take any points I get. I can either take the lead or I can tie on this possession. Kelvin Benjamin's got a nice game. Ooh, that incompletion. Oh, I gotta go for it. Yes, no fumble. Kelvin Benjamin. Big catch. As you see, I also added Gronk to my tight end list with Greg Olson. So, boy, Manning's accuracy is really bad today. But, yeah, it's it's good. I mean, I I I, I didn't want to. I'm not taking any chances. I just took the tie. Damn it, Torrey Smith got another big catch. <sighs> Damn you, Asante Cleveland, you motherfucker. <sighs> that might cinch it. Here's Cooks. Fuck, that's game. 49ers send Dallas to their first loss of the year. And as you see, their final score is 48-41. to 41. 49ers win. Show you the final stats. I think one thing the 49ers killed me on was uh, time of possession and their fourth down efficiency. I did not do well on third down. I only got 36% and only 50% on fourth down. So I definitely need to improve in that category next game. Here's your uh, game leaders. Boy, I'll say this much. Jake Locker had a good game for him. Uh, Torrey Smith had a big game. I'll show you the other stats here. I'm going to look up Jolon Dunbar for you. Boy, I don't even know who Asante Cleveland is, but he had a big game. Jolon Dunbar. Yeah, Jolon Dunbar. He had eight tackles. He, he played a big role. Darnold Dockett. Boy, that's a Big pickup they got this offseason did San Francisco. Now, of course, if you don't remember Darnell Dockett, he suffered a uh, torn ACL or something within his knee he tore up and he 
never even dressed for the Cardinals last year. And Arizona let him walk. And then Arizona picked up San Francisco, Mike Iupati, an offensive tackle. Yeah, Benny Benwickery. Love that name. It's an awesome name. Defensive back from the Panthers. Let's see here. I mean, my defense really didn't... This defense wasn't really good in this game overall. I mean, as you see, Lacey almost ran for 200. Had three TDs. Greg Olson had a big game. Jordy Nelson was almost a non-factor. This is what the defense did. And boy, I got Michael Kendrick or JJ Watt. I mean, I have had Michael Kendricks for a while, and he's always been a great linebacker on my team. This is what I got JJ Watt and Gerald McCoy for. Two young core defensive linemen, and they barely even contributed. It's a shame. But that's the game for you, and that's the stats, and that is the end of the broadcasting. And um, one more stat. I know it's kind of annoying that you guys see the this little assistive touch here, but I'm sorry, I can't get rid of that. It's because when I'm recording, I have to put that on in order for my recordings to work. So I hope you guys don't take any offense to it. But if you liked my stream videos, like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also give a shout-out to the Shrothenator, and subscribe to his channel, and I'll be making another video tomorrow. Thank you.